Welcome to this week's edition of The Passion of the Digital Artist. And here he is, that passionate digital artist himself and his dog Alaska, which you can't see, Jeff Mueller. And we're going to pan down, and that's Alaska. Yes, this is Alaska, the newest edition of... Uh, my daughter decided that she she would have a dog and she'd drop it off and then she left. <laughs> so here now we have uh, Tina Louise, my Chihuahua, Dexter, my Blue Tick Coonhound Shepherd, and Alaska, who is a really great dog. A lab greyhound husky mix. So he's a he's we're working on training him, but he's a, he's a very, very loving dog. Too a little bit too much fur. So He's a nice That's boy. Him. He might stay with us. He might go someplace else, but we'll see. He's a real but nice we're gonna boy. We're going to go. We'll go from there. Come here, Alaska. Good boy. So, how are you, Xavier? I am fantastic, Jeff. I'm super fantastic. Well, tell us. Uh, why are you super fantastic? What's behind me? Uh-oh, I got to pan back up. The dog stole the show there. So, yeah, he did. That's Serene Marina in its physical form. Awesome. It is absolutely stunning. So I've been showing everybody working on the digital aspect of it and, and going from, well, one thing is me and Xavier tonight, uh, in, in the mail, we ordered a, a bottle of Perinod Absinthe, uh, the original formula uh, from 1805 from France, and we've been sampling that tonight. We have been so sampling it. I raise a glass and take a little sip. To Perinod Absinthe. Only drink if you're of legal age and drink responsibly, folks. And then, from that, I've got the iPhone 5, which... Oh, got to have a close-up of the iPhone. Which, so far, I, I, it came last week, Friday, or actually Thursday, a day early, so I was excited about that. But, so far, it, it, the, the, the 4G and the speed is just... Freaking amazing. Uh, the screen's amazing. It's a bigger screen. But as far as everything else goes, what's happened is, what's happened with, with it is, there's a lot of stuff that is exciting that I've started to kind of just only dabble in. The panoramic with the eight megapixel camera is, is just amazing part of it. And there's a bunch of other stuff with, which I haven't been able to get to because all I've been doing is working on the new painting. Now, I'm going to throw it out there. By the end of this weekend, I'm going to take everybody's suggestions. I don't know if I'm going to use everybody one, but I will have the new painting that I'm working on uh, with the lighthouse, the two lighthouse twin paintings. I will have them named. So, the next vlog that we probably do on Sunday, this is a, a midweek video blog, but it's just been so so much has happened that I just me and just decided we were going to skip the two, but we decided to put this midweek one in. So, with mo more further ado, Serene Marina. The process is now the physical birth of the painting. Once you're finished with it, you've got it, you're happy with it, you send it off. I use a place called uh, Simply Canvas. It turned out that I found it on the internet. Initially, I didn't think it was around, but it turns out it's in my own backyard. I actually drove the 20 minutes to pick it up on, I believe it was Wednesday, or, or actually Tuesday at lunch, so yesterday at lunch and then today's Wednesday. But it's just when, when you get to see it in the physical form, my, the, as, as, an, as my, the artist part of me, I'm overall, the color is just amazing and beautiful and stunning. I'll say so it is. Instantly, what I look at is, what am I going to do with this painting with the acrylics? Now, as far as the acrylics go, the whites in the boats and the lights in the boats are good. I feel that probably I'll use some lighting, lightning, uh, bright colors to just add a little bit more glossy feel to the water. And then I'm going to probably hit a little bit in the sky, hit the whites just a little bit more overall to bring out but I'm really happy with the dimension of the painting, of what, what came out. Now, 
at this size, 24 by 36, I'm used to having it printed out 30 by 40. At 24 by 36, a little bit of the detail that I had added in is missing based off of the smaller aspect of there was so much detail to put in. So what I'll probably do is go back, analyze the digital file, and paint some of the detail that had been dropped out of this painting. For instance, right in here, this boat is a little bit dark. It was, it, it, and it'll give it a little bit more depth. But from the standpoint of the composition, the feel, overall feel of the water, what's happening in the glares and the reflections, and it's just, it just turned out gorgeous. I mean, some of the stuff that happened, you can just see that the water and the feel, it just, it, it, it worked really well. I'm really happy with the greens that came across in the, in the way far background and. The painting, once again, the overall feel and composition, this painting I knew just kind of had it. I think where you lost or feel you lost some detail, in my humble, uninformed opinion, adds to a phrase that you used a couple times in previous blogs. It gives that the painterly effect. I think what it looks like you have achieved is realism in the classic sense. Is the detail as perfect as the camera lens? Maybe not, maybe in other places more perfect, but it gives it that painterly feel that I think you were going for. So I, I, I don't think it's gonna need that much with the acrylics, maybe in a couple little places like we talked. Right, and, and some of the, de I'll put some, and overall, I'll, I'll just finish this off, and that's all it needs. But for, the, for what I was trying to accomplish, and the smaller size, I'm extremely, extremely happy. So the next painting that I'll be ordering, and, and it basically the way I order it, is I go on, I, I basically work with their website, I, I lo upload the painting, make sure that I ordered the proper canvas, inch and a half um, depth, they offer two and a half, they offer a lot of different type things, the right size, and then I basically make sure that my file is exactly to their specs so that I can produce the best possible painting. I guess if I'm gonna go forward with my process as I go, I'll probably try and work with them more specific to get a little bit more detail if I can. But in reality, the painter in me, by losing a little bit of detail here, especially even with the, the painting uh, Bright Lights Big City, I was ecstatic that some of the colors weren't obtainable in the printing process, which then forced me to paint in the colors. And I just, I love the painting process. Now, this painting process on this particular painting is high detail, where the Bright Lights Big City was a little bit more abstract, painterly, not as for, we weren't dealing with realism. So this realism effect, I'm like, once again, I'm extremely happy. What I'll do is probably once I'm done, what I've ordered. I'm probably going to be able to finish four on time, order a print, and then finish off the fifth one and, and see if I can get a deal eventually down the line on painting off that fifth one in the series. I would say by the first of the year, I'll have the complete and total series finished, painted, and ready to go for showing. But this particular painting, I want to finish this weekend. Next Friday is an open house at 2nd April Gallery where I show, and I want to have it finished and ready for show and hopefully for sale but i'm also once it's finished i'm i'm these price points is i haven't decided on the exact price but we're probably looking between the 900 to 1100 dollar price range i'm not exactly sure but if anybody's interested it's it's going to be for sale along with the other ones so that brings me to the last thing jack thompson is our social hero social media hero of the week. Now Jack, he is my social media hero, is the support that he has given, given me throughout my career. He's been there and he really, he really supports me online. He will find me on Fine Art America, find my prints, and out of the blue one day, all of a sudden I, he tweets or he puts out that one of you know one of my prints is for sale that he likes. He just really uh, loves the video blog, comments on a consistent basis. He gives me um, Jack's a writer. He's a he's a mystery writer. He also does some sculpting and painting, but his main thing. And he just released his book on Amazon, and 
I'm excited to put up a link to the book. I haven't read it myself, but I'm gonna try and get to that. It's with all with the time that I <laughs> don't have right now. You can do it between I mean, uh, 1 a.m. and 5 a.m. Right, when you're right. normally and unconscious. Actually, when I'm unconscious at my at my tablet. So uh, he's. He's on Twitter, Facebook. I follow him. Uh, love, love his support. We talk back and forth. It's just the kind of guy that just makes you overall feel great, and that's why he's my social media hero because that's what social media is for: for people to support each other. You su you support the person, they support you back. Get to know them, get to meet people, go about and keep just getting out there and. It just keeps building and building. It gets bigger and bigger. I'm approaching quickly the, my 4,000 followers on, on Twitter. I'm 39, 35 right now. But the last 200 all of a sudden, just it's just been kind of steamrolling. So that's what you got to do. You got to get out there, keep doing it. But then this is the, the in-between process of between going from the visual painting, this is the printout. This is what it looks like with the printout. This is what all my prints would look like. When I print these particular paintings, this is it. This is what they'll look like. Now, there's only gonna be one original, and that's the one I paint on. And the one I paint on will add the extra dimension and everything to make it a one-of-a-kind original. So that's where we're at with that. Anything else to add, Xavier? Yes, Jack, thanks for your support. Folks, check out Jack Thompson's links on the website, and we'll see you. Wait, wait, one last thing. We won't see Express you. We'll see you now. It's Awareness Month, and I want to, everybody should support and donate and do whatever they can for breast cancer. Being a big NFL fan myself, every, the NFL supports it, but also knowing people that have had breast cancer, everybody has to get out there and do their part. Very important point. Glad you added that. We'll see you next week, folks.